Today I want to introduce the triple integral. And much like going from the single integral to the double integral by just making our integrand part of the limits, we can do the same thing. We can go from a double integral to a triple integral by making the integrand part of the limits, but that's kind of a waste of time. I actually want to mechanically walk you through the evaluation of a triple integral so then we can see where they're actually used. So like before, the dz, the dy, and the dx tell me the order of the integration I'm, I'm going to perform. So it might be a good idea to actually put the variable in here. This is x equal, this is y equal, this is z equal. Now it's implied already by the setup of the problem, but sometimes it's easier to do this to remember what order you're doing things. Now also remember, you're working inside out. So you're actually performing this integration first. Everything else just comes along for the ride. So from here, 1 to 2, 2x to 4x. Now the antiderivative with respect to z, 5x z squared from z equal y to z equals 2y dy dx. Now when I evaluate this at z, I'll square 2y minus the square of y, and that will give me the integral from 1 to 2 from 2x to 4x of simply 15xy squared dy dx after I simplify that quantity. Now I do the same thing. I go inside out, and now I evaluate that integral. These are the y limits, remember. So this will become 1 to 2. I'm integrating with respect to y, so this would be 5xy cubed from y equal 2x to y equal 4x dx. Then once again, when I evaluate y cubed 4x, that'd be the cube of 4x, minus the cube of 2x, and then times 5x, that will give me 1 to 2 of the quantity 280x to the fourth dx. This is just simple algebra and the evaluation at this point. And now finally, I have a very friendly uh, single integral. So when I do this guy here, I'll get 56x to the fifth evaluated from 1 to 2. So 2 to the fifth minus 1 to the fifth all times 56 gives us 1736 is a final answer. Now, in general, you don't do a lot of triple integrals with an integrand unless you're doing things like finding mass or centers of mass or things like that. So in the next video, we're actually going to use this to see where we would use a triple integral in general, probably in application.